I did it. I bought a car. Really? You get the most of hay. I was fixing to, but then something else caught my eye. You did something done. Now, it needs a little bit of work, but once I'm done, it's gonna be amazing. No. What do you mean? It's got low mileage, great stereo. Check this out. Look at all the room. Hell no. Why? This isn't a car, it's a motel room on wheels. Is that how little you think of me? <laughs> yes, maybe less. George, your mother works for the church. This doesn't look good. I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. Please, listen to me. Come on, if I drive show to college, you can sleep back there. So you saw that couch, and the first thought you had was, my brother can sleep on that. Not my first thought. Now I have read my Bible and I can understand how folks think Jesus was a sad This liquor tastes terrible. It's plastic. You use it to leave a lanyard. No, it's licorice. Your mother lets you wear lipstick? Of course not. Interesting. Does she know you're leading a double life? God, grow up. Why do you think you're rebelling against parental authority? Isn't it obvious? Having a textbook reaction to their divorce. What textbook? Did you get it from the library? Hello, Bible Knots! <laughs> Gather round! Now, who's ready to find space for Jesus in our hearts? I can't hear you! Perhaps that's because space is a vacuum where sound doesn't travel. Nicely done. You're not the only rebel around here. I thought he had stamp camp. Just go get your money back and buy a different car. No! Georgie, I'm not playing around. Neither am I. I bought it with my own money and you don't get a say. As long as you live under my roof, I get plenty of say. Fine, I'll move out. And where are you gonna go? I'll live in the van. <laughs> you know what? It was only a matter of time before you lived in a van. Have at it. Scooby-Doo lived in a van and he turned out fine. I'm a rocket man.